I think from my own point of view, I think they are really, really important because just imagine, I wouldn't be like here if there were no benches, you know? Like, what's the point of me like being here without benches? I don't know. No, what that's, you... uh, that's uh, definitely, absolutely, that's true. Yeah. We so, love it, you know, yeah. they make you connect with other people. You share, they teach you, share. you how to share. Yeah. It's not like one single share. Yeah. But now somebody else can come and join us here connection, partnership, partnering something, I don't know how to explain yeah. it, you know. It they bring brings you people together. together, it brings, just brings people together, you know. Mm. So that I give thanks for that. Whoever decided to do this, it is good for the community, it is good for humans. I mean, because there are benches, you can see it, you can listen to the wind and the waves, you know, and see the, oh, the youth, I mean, the civilization of tomorrow doing their thing, I mean, it's so far, man. So, why not? I love benches. <laughs> so, yeah, that's my story. That's my story. That's what I love the most about benches. So, we need to protect them, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What type of a wood is this, you know? I don't know whether it's uh, mukwa or it's uh, oak, oak or whatever it yeah. is. It's winter time, summer time. They're yeah. always here. They really are good things to have in the public, but they don't they don't have enough of them now. They, they seem to they seem to have stopped doing it. All, that, all they seem to do is say that a bench is an opportunity for antisocial behaviour, and that's it. And I think that's an awful, awful shame uh, because there's a lot more to that. It's it's just part of the the ambience for for a city, for a, for a town or city. You know, you need you need your benches because you need people to have a chance to just uh, take a moment out of life. And you know, the truth is. Anyone could sit on a bench and, you know, you could be sitting down on a bench and the person at the far end could be anyone from, uh, you know, uh, someone from, from, I don't know, Thailand or someone who'd never been in, in, in Ireland in their life to the bloke working in the bank up the road, you know, to uh, a local politician. You don't know. It's literally anybody. So there's that um, commonality about benches, which is fantastic. And um, so I think it'd be a shame if they go. But I think actually... Galway City Council have a, a reasonable take on what kind of benches to do, uh, which is this kind, which is the, you know, concrete, completely immovable and worth nothing to anybody, because I know that's a problem with benches. They can be just nice, nice places to, to just take five minutes to sun yourself or, you know, you need them. Otherwise, otherwise, you know, people are just walking around all the time and uh, getting tired. I don't think there's enough people sitting on benches. <laughs> there's loads of benches, like right now there are a good few benches, but there's not so many people who kind of, you know, there's like, there's a good few along the car, but like there's usually like, like down and outs, like occupying most of the space and you feel a bit afraid to use them. <laughs> yeah, but, I mean, there could be more. I appreciate a good bench actually. I think that's like something, a good marker of a good city is, like how many places you can sit in public and just do nothing at all like that you can just sit there like without buying anything without like you know that kind of thing it's just like you can just sit <laughs> it's obviously it's better to be you know like in the mountains in tibet like looking over a huge gulf of just like nothingness to just be like oh but actually it's much better to like actually build it into your life if it's somewhere that you always go past like I, this is even out of the way for me like I don't come here this is I feel like I'm really doing myself a nice one if I sit on this bench <laughs> but like um, if it's something in your like daily surroundings and stuff I think that's or something you go past it's really important I think those are actually kind of better because you can you can actually sit in them <laughs> if you know what I mean maybe the other ones are objectively better but like more public closer into the city ones are like better because you will actually sit in them <laughs> that makes any sense sit on them yeah so um
what I love about this area here is that you have a walkway that goes for nearly three kilometers from the city center right out here. Within 20 minutes of walking, you can be A, breathing in the ozone, looking at the beautiful Burren Hills across the way, out at Blackhead. You can imagine the Iron Islands. You can imagine America if you look out there. You can dream, you can think about things. Oh, I suppose this is my buzz, the morning buzz. So that's why I love this seat. Really love this seat and the one beside it. Sometimes if you're bored, you can get up and do a few stretching exercises. Pretend you're a jogger, because I'm not a jogger. <laughs> There's something about sitting down in a place where you can hear the sea. A bit of traffic behind us now, but generally you hear the sea. And if you can see the movement of the sea, it's hypnotic. You need the wave action, you need the changing light. I don't know what it is about the way the sunlight interacts with the waves and all that. And you need to come down here on a stormy night when it's scale four, seven or eight and there's 80 mile an hour winds and your hair is sucked back, you know, like, like Robert De Niro, you know, on a bad day. And yeah, that reminds you that you're alive. I'm very dependent on the sea. I need it for my peace of mind. So a bench by the sea anywhere to me is so important. Uh, every time I see one, I, I'm drawn to it. You know, I might be going somewhere, but I say, ah, take five. Lig the ski. See, she says, lig the ski. But I share my stories every day. That's what I do. I talk every day to people about stories. I sit down and I, I concoct new stories. It's just me and the blank screen. I can start painting that canvas straight away. Okay, no paints needed, and I wouldn't be much good of a painter anyway. But I can paint a story. And that's going on in my head all the time. Whether I like it or not, that's what's going on. The most important thing about a bench, any bench anywhere, is comfort. That's the number one. So what the bench itself looks like is important. But when you're placing it, then you want to consider when someone pauses on a trip around the garden and they sit on this bench, what are they going to be looking at when they're sitting on it? Yeah, it's kind of, it's, it's a vital thing to do, to take a bit of time out to recharge. And it's something that it's so easy to forget to do because we're always on now, we're always connected. So taking a few minutes out is not just important, it's absolutely necessary. And I suppose having a well-placed and well-designed seat in an attractive place is going to invite you to sit down and take that little bit of time out that you really need. So if you're putting a bench into a garden and you don't intend to ever sit in it, you can make it look as pretty as you like and it doesn't matter how comfortable it is to sit on. If you're actually going to use it, then you need to make sure it's comfortable for a human back and a human butt, if that makes sense. <laughs> In Ireland, you gotta act straight away on the weather because Changes. it's uh, subject to change. You know, <laughs> we are living on an island, of course. You know? Yesterday, we were 47 years married. It was our wedding anniversary. 47 years. Yeah. yeah. See, uh, in a town, you don't need a view. Sometimes people can only walk maybe uh, 50 meters, 200 meters, yeah. 500 meters, and then they get tired and don't want to sit down. So yeah. it's nice to have a bench. Yeah. And yeah. most towns do not. They used to. They don't have the benches anymore. They used to, Rayhan. And people will come up and visit with you, like right now. You sit down and somebody said, oh, hi, Mary, hi, Kathleen, and to sit down, chat for 10, 15 minutes. Well, that, that's social interaction, and that's important, you know. Yeah. You don't get isolated like that, you know. Yeah, so. And, uh, you know, the paint peels and things like that. You could, uh, Maybe. once a year, to go around and paint the benches, you know, something like that, you know. Yeah. Fill in the cracks, you know, the crack because of the weather. They expand, they contract, the wood does, you know. But I like the wooden, like these benches here, I like the wooden bench, you know. Yeah. It's, uh, it's, they're uh, more comfortable. They need to be maintained. Lots of times you'll see benches, but they're not maintained. We have to assume why they don't, they're not benches anymore. The majority of people that will sit on benches are people who need to sit down. They're elderly yeah. or they're younger with a disability. 
-hmm. and they need to sit down. And, that, or, and um, a, a, it's tough on your ass. <laughs> <laughs> or, you know, uh, you know you've, seen that, you've seen that lady and she had three children, three, four children, you know. Sometimes she needs to take a time out, just rest, and then watch them run around the place and she's taking yeah. a time out, getting a break, you know. So right. it's not just for old people, it's for everybody, you know. Right. It's important, you know. So uh, in conclusion about benches, you know, they are important. Yeah, I think there should be more benches. But parks like this, seashores, in towns, in villages, in cities, yeah, yeah. more, more, not less. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.